I have a plan to stop him. This kid is patient, he has extreme punching power, and he has speed and time, and he is dynamic. You know, this kid is the Lightweight division is, is on fire. Everyone is showing up and showing out. What is on the line tonight? I don't know, you tell me. I'm interested. You thought he looked terrible? He won. Yeah. He won, but really, did compare Ryan's performance against a guy that's not a progress's level and compare Devin Haney's performance against progress. Two different guys. They fought two different guys and they look, uh, yeah, they look, Devin Haney looked like a million dollars and uh, uh, Ryan looked like a thousand dollars against a guy that's not on progress's level. So I'm not going to say he's going to destroy him. But uh, he beats him because he's more skilled. Because Ryan is not ready for. I told you this once before. I think in a couple of interviews ago, Ryan is is if marketed right, he kid can make a lot of money because he got a lot of followers. You just can't let your ego get in the way. Not only through managers but also through fighters. You can't let your ego get in. The way. You got to be marketed the correct way. Fight the right fights, and then when you have to at that next level, then you fight at the next level. He's not ready for that level yet. He's not ready. He proved that he wasn't ready for Tank. He definitely is not ready for Haney, and he's not ready for Shakur. Teal, I told you before, Teal has got the right style to come at him, and maybe he gets a, a, a little easier fight with Teal, but uh, he may be, that's a 50-50 fight for me, uh, but not against Devin Haney, not, not against Tank again, or not against Shakur. It may be even more dominating because uh, uh, Ryan is, Ryan has a good punch, Ryan has a little speed, but Ryan does not have the skill or the uh, experience or ability that Progress has. Progress, you're talking about a world champion. And now you're talking about a guy that really hasn't had that level of opposition. And he was confused when he fought Tank. Completely confused. He showed some confusion when he fought Duarte. And Duarte is nothing. Or I shouldn't say nothing. Duarte is not at that level. That's not his. That's not, that's not something you're going to. Mind you, there's some fighters that are great at that. But that's not something you're going to learn in one fight. That's not something you can't. At that level, you can't change your style to a. In, in a way that is completely 100% different than it was before. He needs to go with what he does best. What he does best, he's got some hand speed, he's got a little power in his left hook, uh, and uh, he's got youth. I mean, he's got, uh, he, he, he does have a lot of ability to a certain level. Not the Haney ability, not the progress ability. Like I said before, Mat Matias would destroy him, would knock him out so ugly that uh, I would hate to see that fight. Ryan is gonna learn. He's, he's fighting a guy that really is not gonna be as as talented as Haney is. Fight fans, welcome back to Luxury Tainment. In this video, we will take a closer look with inside the ring analysis at the potential fight between Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia is apparently very eager to get in the ring with newly anointed two-division champion Devin Haney. Haney, the former unified lightweight champion, thoroughly dominated 140-pound Regis Progress in San Francisco in what was Haney's debut at the junior welterweight limit. After 12 rounds, Haney, 25, was awarded every single round on each scorecard, 120 to 107, three times, to win a unanimous decision. The 
25-year-old Garcia, who is coming off an eighth-round stoppage of Oscar Duarte, has had his quarrels with Haney over the years. But the native of Victorville, California, admitted that Haney looked impressive against Regis. At the same time, Garcia suggested that Haney's technical savvy left a lot to be desired on the entertainment end. In any case, in a series of comments posted on his social media, Garcia with 24 wins, one lost 20 wins by the way of knockout stressed that he and Haney with 31 wins, zero loss and 15 wins by the way of knockout will fight sometime in 2024. This was Devon at his finest, but his finest is something that can put people to sleep that is watching. Garcia wrote in a post on X, I know what he's missing. He can have it one day, but he don't have it right now. Make your assumptions. I can't wait to get it active with him using hashtag Honey Progress. Honey is good, no doubt, but I know him all too well and I will beat him. Garcia wrote in another post. Good stuff tonight, congrats, but this year we are going to run it. One thing is certain in my eyes is that Haney and I will fight in 2024. Garcia continued, you can hold me to it unless it's not in God's will. Garcia's promoter, Oscar De La Hoya of Golden Boy, echoed his client in a post on X. I'm going to push for Ryan Garcia versus Rail Devin Haney. Let's go, De La Hoya wrote. Immediately after his win over Duarte, Garcia called out WBA 140 pound Rolando Rolly Romero to a fight. Garcia has suggested that a Romero fight could happen in March, followed by a fight with Haney later in the year. A Haney versus Garcia fight is at least plausible. On paper, Given that both fighters are backed by promoters aligned with the same broadcaster, in this case the streaming platform Dayzone. Garcia is backed by Golden Boy, while Haney has a close relationship with Eddie Hearn of Matchroom, which promoted Saturday's show in San Francisco. Devin Haney appears to have heard Ryan Garcia's recent intentions to seek a bout with the unbeaten American next, and his response to the prospect was one that will go down well with fight fans. Haney joined the DA Zone pay-per-view panel in between bouts at Day of Reckoning in Saudi Arabia, featuring Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder in action in the top two contests. In response to a question about Garcia's challenge, Haney suggested that talks are getting underway. Ryan Garcia has called me out, and I've called him out for years, Haney told Luxurytainment. We're in negotiations, and it could be next. I want to make the biggest fights happen and I think it's time me and Ryan get it on. More than likely, it's next.
whether Haney fights Garcia next or not, he appears to have every intention of competing in Saudi Arabia himself when he does step between the ropes next. My next fight will be here, we're in talks for it to be here, noted Haney. So let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of each fighter in terms of fighting style, strategy, and individual strengths and weaknesses. Here's a general overview. Ryan Garcia. Advantages. Speed and agility. Garcia is known for his quick hands and footwork, making him elusive and difficult to hit. Knockout power. Garcia has demonstrated significant knockout power, which can be a decisive factor in a fight. Youth and potential. As a younger fighter, Garcia may have more room for improvement and could bring unpredictability to the ring. Disadvantages. Limited professional experience. Compared to some other top fighters, Garcia may have less experience at the elite level. Defense. While Garcia is quick and elusive, there have been moments where his defense has been questioned and he has been caught with punches. Devin Haney, advantages. Boxing IQ. Haney is known for his technical skills and boxing intelligence, making him a strategic fighter in the ring. Versatility. Haney is comfortable fighting both on the inside and outside, adapting his style to different opponents. Experience. Haney had more professional experience than Garcia at the elite level. Disadvantages. Power. While Haney has good technical skills, some critics have pointed out that he may lack the knockout power seen in some other top lightweights. Fan-friendly style. Haney's more technical style might not be as crowd-pleasing as a more aggressive, knockout-oriented style. So guys, who do you have winning between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and comment your thoughts below. Have a great day.